Hi, and welcome to Davis Sports Report. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Davis Sports Report. Like the intro said, go ahead and hit the thumbs up for us. Also, check out our playlist to find exactly what it is that you're looking for. So today we're going to be talking about ESPN's way too early predictions for women's basketball. We're currently about 40 days away from the start of the basketball season, which will be November the 4th for most teams. And we wanted to go ahead and discuss what we could be expecting for this year. It's going to be an exciting year. There were a lot of transfers that took place in the transfer portal, as well as a lot of new recruits coming in for the freshman class. So it should be a super exciting season. Let's get started. We're not going to do the entire top 25. We're going to do the top 11 because I want to mention Dukes. <laughs> Let's get started. Coming in at number 11 is going to be the Duke Blue Devils. So for Duke, they do have quite a few returning players, um, players that made an impact last year that's coming back this year. So we have Regan Richardson, who averaged 12.4 points per game, 2.5 rebounds. Also, Tanya Mayer, who averaged 9.8 points per game, 3.8 rebounds. And Oluchi Akananwa, who averaged 9.7 points per game, 6.1 rebounds. And Ashlyn Jackson, that averaged 9.2 points per game and 2.5 rebounds. So for me, it looks like Duke is lacking on the defensive side with rebounds. Here, they are bringing in um, Riley Nelson from Maryland. She's not gonna be a big impact on the defensive side, but they have the freshman, Toby Fournier. Remember, the one that's been dunking on people in high school. She is going to be a huge impact on the defensive side, getting the rebounds and putting them back up. She is ranked number 10 in her class, and we do expect to see great things from her, as, as well as six foot four, Ariana Robinson. And she is ranked number 17. And yes, yeah, she gets those rebounds, rebounds, rebounds. So we look forward to seeing both of those with Duke. As far as ranking them number 11, yeah, I think I will agree with that. So I'm going to go ahead and give that prediction a thumbs up. They're also getting in Luanne Battiston from Belgium. And she is a great three-point shooter. So with Duke having four of its returning players coming back, that were, you know, averaging close to 10 points per game and adding in a couple of freshmen that I think could help them out. Number 11 sounds about right to me. So let's move on to the number 10 spot. Number 10 is Iowa State Cyclones. So Iowa State really won our hearts last year when they made it into the March Madness and Audie Crooks was really the breakout player. She will be returning this year. Audie had an average of 19.2 points per game, 7.8 rebounds. Joining her is going to be Addie Brown, who had 13 points per game and 8.2 rebounds, which both of those are really high. Included with that will be Emily Ryan with 11.6 points per game and 4.5 rebounds. But where they're going to get some big gets is in the transfer portal. They got Marquette's Kenzie Hare, who averages 14 points per game, 2.1 rebounds, and Sydney Harris from TCU, who was injured last year, but she averages 9.4 points per game and 3.2 rebounds. Now, what they're going to need is some assistance in the rebound department. They are bringing in freshman Ali Tanky and she is, has a sweet turnaround jump shot. She will take it to the hole, and she has a style and um, likeness of Audie Crook. So I think the two of them working together is gonna be great for Iowa State, as well as they are bringing in freshman Regan Wilson, and she looks like she is a sneaky, good three-point shooter. So that is something they're going to need on their end as well if they want to compete with these teams that have hot shot three-point shooters. So I would say I would give 
Number 10, Iowa State, a thumbs up. I think that is a great prediction. They don't have any like true star star other than Audie Crooks. And I think she'll have enough help that it'll get them where they need to go. Moving right along. At number nine is the Baylor Bears. Now this is where I have to disagree with ESPN's prediction. Uh, the Bears have Sarah Andrews returning, and she averages 11.4 points per game. Also, Dariana Little Page Bugs, she averages 10.5 points per game and 7.2 rebounds. And Bella Fontleroy, who averages 9.6 points per game and five rebounds. Also, scorers are Jada Walker, that's returning, and Yaya Felder. Uh, then they get from the transfer portal, they got uh, from Colorado, Arianette Vonley, and she averages 14 points per game, 5.1 rebounds. I personally don't think that's going to be enough on the defensive end of things, as well as the offense as well. Um, only two players and then the transfer that is averaging in the double digits for scoring. So I'm not going to agree with them. They're bringing in Kayla Nelms as a freshman. She is ranked number 51. I think she will be a great asset on the defensive side as she is six foot one. And then they're also bringing in Inez Goryanova and she has the hot hands at the three point line. So she'll, she'll help them out a lot on the offensive side points and scoring. I am still going to give that prediction a thumbs down. I don't think Baylor should be ranked number nine just based on the numbers that I'm seeing. So let's move on to number eight. Number eight is the North Carolina State Wolfpack. For North Carolina, they do have a couple of returners or three returners that I think make an impact. And that's gonna be Isaiah James, averaging 16.8 points per game, 4.6 rebounds. Also, Sanaya Rivers, averaging 12.5 points per game and 6.1 rebounds. And then there's Madison Hayes, averaging 10.2 points per game, 6.8 rebounds. They are getting a great transfer coming out of Boston University, and that is Caitlin Weimer. She averages 18.7 points per game and 10.6 rebounds. Also joining them will be on the freshman side is going to be Zamaria Jones. She is a freshman ranked number 21. She is a pretty good three-point shooter and she can shoot it from way out there. So <laughs> I think she's going to bring good, great things. She's going to be one for us to watch. Also Devin Quigley. She is ranked number 50 and she's got that jump shot. I, I see that jump shot. It's sweet. It's sweet. Also, it's going to be Tilda Trigger. She is a six foot six Sweden player that played in the FIBA U20, and she has made a vast improvement from her previous um, performances in the U21 uh, FIBA games. So I think she is probably ready to get on the big stage and really assist with uh, what needs to be done. And then there's going to be um, Lorena Awu. She's six foot five, and she's a big that's doing big things, you know. So North Carolina State ranked number eight. I'd say yeah. I'm going to give that one a thumbs up. I, I can see it for sure. They have some great additions coming in um, from via the transfer portal and some freshmen that are coming in that I think can help them out this year very well. Let's move on. Number seven is the LSU Tigers. Now, LSU is always an exciting team to watch. We do have a lot of returners coming back this year. Coming in is going to be Anissa Morrow. She is averaging 16.4 points per game and 10 rebounds per game. Also coming back is going to be Flaugier Johnson, averaging 14.9 points per game. 5.5 rebounds and Michaela Williams averaging 14.5 points per game, 4.9 rebounds and Samaya Smith averaging 11.7 points per game and 7.6 rebounds. So that is four players already that are averaging in the double digits for scoring, which is great. Joining LSU this year, 
from the transfer portal is Arizona's Kalen Gilbert, who averages 15.1 points per game, 5.3 rebounds. And coming from University of Miami is Cheyenne Day Wilson, averaging 11.9 points per game, 2.7 rebounds. And then coming from Arkansas is going to be Jersey Wolfenberger, averaging 5.6 points per game, 3.8 rebounds. I think there is a lot of potential there, though. She is standing at six foot five. She's a sophomore. Nope, she's a junior coming in um, from Arkansas. And I do believe if anybody can work with her and get her up to speed, it's going to be that LSU uh, training staff. So I expect to see great things from Jersey Wolfenberger. Also, they still have Aaliyah Del Rosario standing six foot six. So I think she can help out a lot on the defensive side as well. She's a sophomore this year. We didn't see a lot from her last year as a freshman, but you know, that freshman season can be a little rough and sometimes you're behind some of those other starters. So I do expect that we're gonna see great things from both of those players on the defensive end. They already got the offensive side shut down. So LSU coming in at number seven, I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. They possibly could have even gone higher. I think LSU is going to do what LSU always does, and they're going to come out there and show us how it's done. Now, let's move on. Coming in at number six is Texas Longhorns. Okay, so for the Texas Longhorns, and I call it the land of the bigs because they have 11 players. Yeah, 11 players that are six feet and above. Yeah, they've earned that name, Land of the Bigs. Coming back for Texas is Madison Booker, who averages 16.5 points per game, five rebounds. Also, Rory Harmon, who averages 14.1 points per game, 5.6 rebounds. Taylor Jones, averaging 12.3 points per game, 6.3 rebounds. And Aaliyah Moore, averaging 11.3 points per game and 6.1 rebounds. It, from the transfer portal, they are getting Michigan's Layla Felia, who averages 16.8 points per game, 3.6 rebounds. That is going to be a great addition for the Texas Longhorns. And then they also have the tallest player in the NCAA women's basketball right now, and that's going to be six foot nine, Abby Bootlier. She is a sophomore this year. We didn't see much from her last year, but I'm hoping they really worked with her over the summer because she could be phenomenal at six foot nine. I mean, could you imagine trying to shoot <laughs> around someone that's six foot nine? She could be the block queen of, of college basketball if they've gotten that work in with her and really got her condition for this year. So I'm looking forward to that. They also added Jordan Lee, who is ranked number nine. She's great on defense and she has some nice jump shots. Justin Carlton, she is ranked number 12 and she knows her way to the basket. And then there's Brianna Preston. She's a freshman, also ranked number 38. And she is a shooting guard that may not get to see much playing time this year, but she's also a great asset to the team. So for me, I do believe ranking Texas number six was great. Yes, I'm gonna give that one a thumbs up. I think Texas is going to be heck to deal with this year uh, and they are going to have that confidence. So yeah, I, I would agree with ranking them number six. So let's move on. Thank you so much for watching. Part two will be coming soon.